this tutorial, we will discuss how to use Twixter to do frame rate conversions. We will start with footage where the input and the desired output are both interlaced or both progressive. Our first example is the progressive to progressive scenario. The steps would be the same if our footage was being converted from interlaced to interlaced. Our clip is 720p and 29.97 frames per second. So, we can start a new project and we will select the 23.976p NTSC as our project type because that's our desired frame rate conversion. Now in the format tab of the project settings, we will select 720p and 23.976. We can then add our clip to the timeline. Before we apply Twixter, we will need to use Media Composer's Time Warp in order to allow Twixter to see all the frames. We will go to the Effects palette and choose Time Warp and drag the Time Warp effect onto the clip in the timeline. Now you're probably wondering why we have to add Time Warp if we're planning to leave it at 100%, which is what we're planning to do. I'm going to step through the frames so you can see that it skips or doubles frames in order to play the clip for the original duration. Once we add time warp and change the speed to 100%, we can see that every frame of the original clip is being played at the current or new timeline. Note, by playing every frame of the original clip at the new frame rate, that the clip will change duration. In this example, we're playing at a lower frame rate, so we need to extend the footage to see all the frames. Now we're ready to add Twixter, so we go to the Effects tab and Revision Effects and add Twixter to our clip. We're going to choose Speed for our time remapping mode. In order to convert the frame rate of this 29.97 frames per second clip to 23.976 frames per second, we can enter 125 in the dialog box to slow the clip by a factor of 1. We got the 125% by dividing the input frame rate by the output frame rate, or 29.97 divided by 23.976 equals 1.25, so that's 125%. Now we can do a video mix down and see that our clip plays smooth and it's now 23.976 frames per second. Frame rate converting progressive footage to interlaced footage, such as 23.976 to 59.94i, is the same process, but make sure to set Twixter's input fields to progressive. Otherwise, you may get duplicated frames for a stuttering result. In this next example, the input is 29.97, 60i interlaced, and we want to convert that to 23.976 progressive. You will want to refer to the tutorial called Progressive to Interlaced and Vice Versa for detailed information and explanations in addition to watching this tutorial. I'm going to go through the steps again here, but in a more condensed version. We can add our interlaced clip to the progressive timeline and add Media Composer's Time Warp effect to the clip. Now you can change the type to interpolated field and change the source to interlaced and the output to progressive. Let's click on the speed graph button and select the only keyframe that's there and change it to 50. We want to play it half as fast so we see each field. The clip is actually slowed down 50%, so we need to extend the clip to make it twice as long to include all of the original footage. We can change the video quality to full quality, the green setting, so we can see each field. Now we can apply Twixter and set Twixter's speed percentage to the input frame rate divided by the output frame rate multiplied by 2. We have to compensate for time warp making a frame out of each field. So since our input is 29.97 interlay 60i and our output is 23.976 frames per second progressive, then we set Twixter speed percentage to 2 times 29.97 divided by 23.976 or 2.5 which is 250% of course. 
Remember, if your clip is too long and is starting to loop, we don't want to trim the clip since the retime effect isn't rendered yet. We can simply go to the last good frame of the cut and mark that as the out point. And then we can go to the first frame of the clip and mark that as our end point. Of course, in any of the scenarios, some that I didn't show, you may need to add footage to the nested sequence that Twixter is applied to in order to make it long enough for the frame rate conversion to complete properly. This will happen when you need to set Twixter's speed percentage to values under 100%. You can refer to the Twixter Basics in Avid Media Composer tutorial for more information on how to do that. Now we're ready to do a video mix down and see our clip playing back at 23.976 frames per second. This is how we use Twixter to convert frame rates in Avid Media Composer.